All right, welcome to our Week 4 preview, our Touchdown Friday preview for the fourth week of the high school football season. Finally, we've got a great weather night. We've got a great cast of characters here, Kelsey O'Donnell, Ken Wiling, and Nolan Knight. I'm Brian Bailey as we get set for this fourth week. Let's talk about our game of the week coming up this week, Jacksonville and Kinston. The Vikings coming off that loss to Wilson Fike. Jacksonville undefeated on the year and ranked number two in our Touchdown Friday Top 9. Yeah, a little surprising that Kinston took that loss after last year. Of course, they went the entire regular season without losing a game. So week three of the year. They already have a loss, which was a bit of a surprise. And they're taking on a Jacksonville team that we've already featured in a game of the week. So that one should actually be a pretty good matchup. All right, Ken Watling's got our backyard brawl this week. You're going to head south, right? Yeah, going to Beulahville out in Duplin County. Down East Duplin. Chinkapin and all those towns yeah, down there. Yeah, yeah. East Duplin hosting Southwest Onslow. Uh, really a good rivalry. Used to be conference rivals. It's now a non-conference game. And East Duplin's really owned this rivalry the last four years. Last Southwest Onslow win was a 28-7 win back in 2014. But usually really competitive. It was a 22-21 game last year. Looking forward to a nice little you know backyard brawl for real it will be a backyard brawl another backyard brawl that we're not going to feature as the brawl but it will be a backyard brawl is washington and north side north side's undefeated and kelsey you've got that game yes yeah, so north side's coming in hot they're three and washington's one and one so you would think maybe north side would take the win but um washington actually won i believe it was 44 nothing last year so it'll be an interesting game yeah, Northside got off to a great start last year, and then they ran into Washington, and that was a buzzsaw. <laughs> uh, closer to home, we've got Rocky Mount at J.H. Rose. D.H. Conley playing host to Scotland County, so both of those schools uh, in town have tough matchups coming up this week. Uh, other great matchups, Wallace Rose Hill at Havelock, Wes Carter at West Craven. Any of these matchups uh, you interested in and seeing how they turn out? You know what I'm really looking forward to, the matchup I'm looking forward to? Us and good weather. I mean, we need that kind of matchup because it's been, you know, we're four weeks into the season now, and we've only had really one good week of weather. We need that to continue. All right, what about a good matchup from Nolan Knight? There's a lot of them. I mean, that's that's kind of the thing with uh, Eastern North Carolina football is that when you get into these conference plays and as we go deeper into the season, you'll see those. You'll see those maybe not so not as lopsided victories for teams. And so we're kind of getting to the meat of the schedule. We're going to see uh, those closer matchups, which is as a fan and as a journalist going to the games makes it more enjoyable. And you got some games that we look at. Aiden Griffin, Farmville Central on paper looks like you know they they don't like each other for sure. Farmville Central has really struggled, so Aiden Griffin and they've had a good year so far. The Chargers are ranked in our touchdown Friday top nine. So Aiden Griffin probably favored in that game. Eastern Wayne and Green Central, another game that could be a backyard brawl. Of course, we'll have all the scores, all of the highlights coming up Friday night, 11.05. How do you say it? <laughs> I'm not going to do that again. That's only for the promo <laughs> on Touchdown Friday.